All right, so a lot of people who follow me have been asking Tim Black, what do you think about Snoop Dogg's latest comments about anyone who visits Donald Trump at Trump Tower? They also wanted to know what I think about T.I. the rapper in his comments. Well, you know, I won't use the language that Snoop Dogg used. That's not how I roll. I don't go around calling black folks I don't go around calling them coons, using language that if a white person uses it, we call them racist. Nah, that's not how it get down. But what I am going to do is respond the best way I know how. Snoop Dogg, you need to shut up. Yes, you need to shut up and have several seats, sir. Now, don't get me wrong. I like you, Snoop. You're a great guy. You know, you're funny. You're more funny when you're smoking weed than when you're talking about politics. But the problem is you're misleading people. See, you'd have no problems if Hillary was your president. You'd be just fine. I don't know if you know this or not, but Hillary's white too, just like Trump is white. So when you say you're a coon for talking to Trump about bettering your community, that doesn't make sense. Because if that Hillary was in the office right now and we went to talk to her, you'd be just fine with it. You'd do another song about it. Hillary Clinton called black young people super predators. Now, if Trump used that type of language, you'd say he was a white nationalist, white supremacist, KKK skinhead Nazi. But when Hillary did it, you say, well, that's in the past. For shizzle. For shizzle? T.I., dude, the Willie Lynch letter is not real. If that's the basis of your argument, you need to do some more research. And what has Trump got to do with that anyway? Listen. When MLK III went to see Donald Trump, he's trying to work on getting voting rights for all citizens. That's a good thing. Look, man, I know you're both rich, and you don't really have to suffer from the abuses that we do. I mean, if someone pulls you over, they see it's you, Snoop, they go, hey, that's Snoop Dogg. He's a cool guy. T.I., maybe not so much, but you get my point. You guys got bail money. If I was given an opportunity to talk to Trump, I'd tell him, get rid of that stop and frisk measure. Don't even consider it. But see, if you're not included in the conversation, how can you voice your opinion? So you're against black folks talking to Trump because white folks talk to him all the time. You're fine with that. And once again, if it was Hillary Clinton in that White House and somebody wanted to talk to her, you'd be cool with that. That's not only stupid. It's hypocritical, and it's misleading. Whether you like it or not, Trump is the president. I didn't vote for him, but I can accept reality and work within the situation that we have at hand. I like you, Snoop. I like you, T.I., but you're full of shit. The truth is, we need to work both inside and outside. Snoop Dogg, stick to doing your little league coaching. That's a great thing that you do. T.I., stick to doing whatever it is you do, employing people, putting out music. Great. But leave the political commentary to people who have done the research. When Trump does something wrong, we'll call him out. But if you call him out before he does something wrong, guess what? You have no credibility. That's like having five ghostwriters and never writing your own lyrics, sir. Do your research. I'm Tim Black. Follow me at Real Tim Black on Facebook and on Twitter. And like I always say, don't you let nobody take your cornbread. And stop dropping so many N bombs. I'm not your N, I'm your brother. Peace. Mm -hmm.